when you think about all the best wrestling games ever, one of the things they all seem to share, for the most part, is a really good story mode. And WWE 2K22's career mode is pretty good, especially when you don't have some nerd in your ear comparing it to SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. Plot twist, it's me. I'm the nerd. But I remember it like it was yesterday. 2K released the news that my career of WWE 2K was now going to be called My Rise. And in that moment, I saw WWE 2K17's My Career with a new ranking system that would put you in generic storylines as you rose, get it, My Rise, up the charts. And I fell to my knees and looked up to the heavens and asked, what? But luckily for us, the My Rise we got was nothing like what I imagined. Instead, it's been more like fan service to wrestling fans, and you'll see what I mean by that. So you start your My Rise by creating your character, you choose your background out of pro athlete, MMA, actor, or indie star, and you choose your fighting style, and these two determine what your attribute caps will be, as well as certain dialogue within the cutscenes in the beginning of the game. But from there, you go to the WWE Performance Center, and you begin your journey to become a WWE superstar. So when I think of wrestling game career modes, there's a few things I need off rip. Number one, the storylines have got to be good. They got to be interesting. Number two, replayability. I don't want to beat your game one time and be done with it forever. Number three, some choices to switch up the story. I don't want to have the exact same story from friend to friend when we're recalling our playthroughs of the game, you know? So starting with the storylines, they need to be interesting and memorable. There's no reason your wrestling game's career mode should be getting stunted on by 20 plus year old wrestling game career modes. It's 2022, bro. Y'all got the blueprint. You've seen what works, what doesn't work. You gonna gotta reinvent the wheel, you know what I'm saying? I believe one of the most important things about wrestling game career modes is having those moments. Those moments that have you doing callback years later, like that time in SmackDown versus Raw 07, I think, when Candice Michelle took her little magic wand and turned you into a diva. You and me in the ring tonight. What? You gotta be kidding. I don't do bikini contests. What the? That's a good one. But in this My Rise, I feel like you can tell the writers care and are actually wrestling fans. One of the things they did really well was reference things in the past and use that to make believable, interesting, cool stories. And not just the recent past, but like 20 years ago past, as well as the recent past. For instance, in the WCW reunion storyline where AJ Styles crashes the party because his WCW experience wasn't too sweet, the idea of building a rivalry off of a real life happening from 20 years ago and letting AJ Styles shoot on it in a video game promo, I gotta say, that, that was too sweet. But for them to put this moment in the game is actually really cool. The promo AJ cuts is a, a actual good promo that I would have liked to see it on like Monday Night Raw for real. It's a great promo. You can find it on YouTube. And everything he says in the promo is true. It's literally how WCW went out of business. But I digress. There's a lot of moments and details in this mode like this that feels like fan service for wrestling fans, the good kind. And I'm here for it. As for replayability, I haven't played My Rise with all the backgrounds but I don't think a different background changes the story all that much. There's a male and female My Rise, which I was hoping there would be. So that gives you a few different options in terms of backgrounds and gender that you can replay the game mode with. And as for My Rise choices, you get a few that actually changes things in your current storyline. You get some that delay storylines temporarily, and you get to willingly choose when you work heel or when you work baby. So there are choices in the game, nothing that will result in a significantly different uh, uh, my rise from any of your friends or anything, but I'm just happy that it's not a linear path, which I can appreciate. My rise doesn't have a complex ranking system or anything. Instead, you travel to different locations, meeting fans, wrestlers, GMs, and you interact with them to create your rivalries and storylines, as well as checking your social media. You can start rivalries with other superstars via Twitter or whatever. And I know I've already praised the storylines themselves, but the match variety, the characters you get in rivalries with, and again, the storylines themselves, make my rise a lot of fun to play through, especially the first time. One of my personal favorites is the storyline where you channel your inner edge and you start dating GM Mandy Rose, using it to your advantage, but you also get caught up because it turns out your wrestler is dating like five other women wrestlers on the roster. 
good, wholesome content. I will say this though. My only beefs with this My Rise is that they didn't lean all the way into letting you have a real one-on-one -on -one rivalry with Roman with, with some sort of real payoff. But beyond that, I give My Rise a 7.5 out of 10. And kudos to me for managing to not compare this game to Here Comes the Pain or No, no Mercy once. Clap it up for me. Let's go, man. I'm the best. But that's all I got for you guys today, man. My Rise is a pleasant surprise this year, and seeing how it progresses in the coming years will be very interesting. So let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on My Rise? I've seen some people really, really like tear into this game mode and say they don't like it. So I'm curious, what, do you, what does everyone else think? Please, let, let, actually let me know in the comments. I'm genuinely curious. And also, since I didn't compare them, I'm gonna leave it to y'all. How does My Rise stack up against your favorite story modes and your favorite wrestling games? Leave that in the comments as well. But as always, I am D. Brown Shanhan. Y'all take care of yourself, take care of y'all people, and I'm up out of here. What?